Metronome is one of the most iconic moves in all of Pokemon. By simply waggling a finger, Metronome can turn into hundreds of different moves. So, when I heard that Pokemon was hosting an official tournament called Test Your Luck, a tournament where the only move allowed was Metronome, I knew I had to enter. Obviously, I knew I was going to win, since I know that luck is a skill and I am very skilled. Just to be safe though, I reached out to my friend DeWobblefett who gave me a team and explained how the format worked to me. Here's what I learned. Metronome can call nearly every move in the game, all with equal probability. The odds of you getting any particular attack is 1 in 554. Many of these moves don't do damage, and many of the ones that do do damage are weak. Because of this, in a metronome format, it is extremely difficult to take KOs unless you're very lucky. Of the 40 games I played in this tournament, 33 of them were ended by the in-game timer of 20 minutes running out. Even if this timer didn't exist, you'd probably be more likely to KO yourself by running out of PP than to KO your opponent with metronome. Now, you might think this tournament is totally random because the only move allowed is metronome, but some things are still within the player's control. There are over 50 Pokemon that can learn metronome and sword and shield, and although the legendary Pokemon were banned, you could select any of the remaining Pokemon for your team. You also had control over your Eevees, item, and abilities. The team that the Wobbuffet gave me aimed to use the strongest Pokemon in the format. First, Dust Noir. Dust Noir has good natural bulk, a decent attack stat, and the ability Pressure. Pressure removes two PP from an opponent's attack instead of one, whenever the user is targeted by an opponent's move. Because the only move allowed in the tournament was Metronome, Pressure was an extremely strong ability. If an opponent ever ran out of Metronomes, they could only attack with Struggle, which deals a quarter of the user's health and recoil whenever it lands. I gave my Dust Noir the Leftovers item, which is the single best item in the format. It allowed Dust Noir to constantly heal throughout the battle, which is extremely useful when you consider how long each game takes. Next, Gengar was selected. Gengar has two major selling points. First, it has the ability Cursed Body. The way Cursed Body works is that whenever the user is hit with an attack, it has a 30% chance to disable the move it was hit with. As the only attack usable in this tournament is Metronome, if Cursed Body activates, it forces the opponent to switch out or to use Struggle. The real draw of Gengar, however, actually has to do with its typing. Gengar is Ghost and Poison type. This is good for two reasons. First, Ghost. Ghost is the only type in the game with two immunities, to Normal and Fighting. Both Gengar and Dust Noir are Ghost type, meaning they'll take zero damage whenever an opponent rolls a Normal or Fighting move. Ghost is also good because it only has two weaknesses, minimizing the risk of a random strong move picking up a surprise KO. On Gengar, however, the really important type was Poison. Now, Poison isn't normally thought of as a strong type, but there's a very niche situation here that makes Poison basically mandatory on every team. I'm talking about the item Black Sludge. Black Sludge is an item that, on most Pokemon, deals 1 eighth of their health and damage at the end of each turn. But, when equipped to a Poison type, it functions exactly like Leftovers. This allows a team to have functionally two Leftovers, which is a big deal as it allows you to switch between Gengar and Dust Noir and continually heal damage. Lastly, Grimmsnarl was selected. You might be thinking that what makes Grimmsnarl strong is the Prankster ability it normally runs, but in this format, Prankster is actually really bad, as you're unable to hit opposing Dark types, and it's so rare that both you and your opponent do meaningful damage that moving first isn't really an advantage. Instead, Grimmsnarl run the item Jacoba Berry, which does a little bit of damage to an opponent when hit by a physical move, which combos with the ability Pickpocket. Pickpocket is a cheeky little ability that states, if the user has no item and is hit by a move that makes contact, the user will steal the attacker's item. The theory behind Grimmsnarl is that you can use it to steal opponent's leftovers, though I also used it at times to steal opposing Gengar's Black Sludge to turn off their recovery. The team also had Clefable, Machamp, and Mr. Rhyme, but I never brought them. While I think the three Pokemon I had were the best for the format, other options included Snorlax, who has great natural bulk and a good base attack stat, Blissey, which is worse in battle but gives better odds if the game goes to timer, and Pokemon like Choice Band Machamp, Life Orb Clefable, and Scopelens Togekiss as more offensive metronome users. I personally found that because of the difficulty in calling powerful attacks, defensive metronome users were more consistent, but that's just my opinion. Every Pokemon on the team was EV'd in HP and physical defense with a speed dropping nature. This is because there are more physical moves than special moves that can be called. A minus speed nature is optimal because you're often using both physical and special attacks. 
Going into the tournament, I expected my opponents to be mostly casual players who wanted to have fun with the in-game tournament. My expectations could not have been more wrong. Of my 40 games, 39 of them were against serious players absolutely prepared to do whatever it takes to win. Also, I would guess that at least 30 of my 40 games were against players from Japan, which was another aspect I didn't consider going in. The tournament format was standard for a ladder tour. Each day you were given 15 games to play. If you won a game, you would gain points, and a loss would lose you points. You gained or lost more points for beating a high-scoring opponent, and lost more if your opponent had fewer points. You didn't have to play all 45 games. You could stop whenever you wanted, even if you'd only played one game. There was no prize for winning, aside from bragging rights and your own pride. The last thing I want to mention before we jump into the actual tournament is I'd like to ask you to subscribe. Only about 5% of my viewers are subscribed, and I'm hoping to get that number up. Also, I only post on this channel once or twice a week, so if you want more content from me, you should check out the Clips channel, VODs channel, and my TikTok. Anyway, with that out of the way, this is how the tournament actually went. Genjar? Okay, Dust Noir. Alright, in terms of the type matchup, we're neutral. I have pressure. So basically, there's a couple things going on here. Oh, look, I could use Veteran. Um, oh, I need you to not take mine. I need to not. Uh, wait. Okay. So basically, the strategy... Well, let's see if I can pull it off. Grim Snarl, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no. Are they Jacoby Berry? Yep, okay, okay, okay. They're, they have the same strategy that I have. Their teams are very... Oh, defense. Ah, oh, and the same turn? Dang. So leftovers are really broken here. This person's actually really good. They, I didn't think people... I thought people were going to be really bad, but it seems that that's not the case. Oh, let's hope they get a physical move too. Galaxy, thank you for the 18 months. Okay. Solar Beam. It's a two-turn move. Oh, leftovers is broken. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Isabella, uh, Isabella, thank you for the four months. Harold Beekman, thank you for the ten months. Guy Fieri's pepperoni and uh, our areolas, thank you for the prime. Really appreciate that. Steal it back? Yeah, I want to steal it back. Any curse bodies? No curse body? Okay, that's fine. Well, we know all their mods. Oh, they're just going to peeky stall me. I need to get some damage down. All their mods have leftovers. They got the strategy. Glaciate. That's not a weak... That's not a weak move, is it? It's not very strong, though. Of course they get it. Okay. I can't believe other people know this strategy. I didn't think there would be so many sweats. Does wagging your finger at the same time as your Pokemon improve your luck? I guess we'll find out. No, 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 no. Not a ghost move. Not a dark move. A dark move? Are you serious? Oh, it didn't do anything? Okay. Curse body? <laughs> okay, I have a chance to attack now. So basically the strategy here is, um, it's really difficult to do damage with Metronome, and you're actually likely to run out of PP before you do damage. Like, how much PP do I have left here? Chairs in the way. I have 14 left, but like, they're gonna switch into a pressure mod here. Also, because the other thing is about stalling is that, as you can see, it's so difficult to do damage, and... Like, I'm also- I can- I can call moves like Explosion, Memento, Self-Destruct. Or just normal moves, apparently. I have to stay in here. I can't really afford to switch because they're going to keep switching out. And I can't really afford... I need to, I'm, I'm losing, basically. I need, to, I need to get damage on them somehow. You can Dynamax, but it will just turn into Max Guard. So you basically use it to block, like... If they had, like, Phantom Force, I would use it to block that. Of course they're going to get something to just damage. And they won the Speed Tie. And they got Fish's Rend. Please survive. Okay, that's not good. I didn't do that much damage. Shadow Ball! <laughs> Give me Shadow Ball! <laughs> That's not good! That's not good! <laughs> I, I'm going to use to recover my health right now. Oh no. Blizzard? Blizzard doesn't even help me. Get them getting frozen is badge. Whoa! That's a stab move? Okay, alright, alright, okay. We're kind of in, we're, we're kind of back. We're kind of back in this. I think this is my only one with leftovers right now. So, oh, they stayed in. Gengar, kill it. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Honestly? It's not so bad. As, like, because I am using my attack stat. Does that take two or one in this instance? Alright, nothing. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Smoge. It's actually lucky I can't get poisoned. 
Nice, okay. Uh, well, I mean, they just switch out, which is okay. At the moment, it's gonna be close whether or not I lose on timer. Kill it! Use Mega Blast. I see why this strategy is optimal. I hate that I got my leftover stolen. Seriously? Seriously? I live. But not by much. I have to switch. I have to go for big damage here. Alright, give him hit him with something good, Gengar. Please hit him with something good. Because I think I only have one metronome left after this. Okay. That's damage at least. Not a lot of damage. Alright, Gengar, you need to kill him now. Give me hex again, Shadow Ball. Oh, hold on, that's actually. Oh, wait, this is the same power as Dragon Darts, unfortunately. I have to switch now. Para? Actually, Para is probably bad for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's Jacoba very Grimmsnarl. Alright, Dust Noir, I need you to take a kill here. Somehow. It's very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. Why not Rocky Helmet? You're trying to pickpocket their leftovers, but not their Black Sludge. Okay, paste away from the PD. Of, of course it gets Ghost Moves. It shouldn't do that much damage, but I don't have Recovery, so it actually matters. The fact that all their Monta Recovery is actually so bad for me. Unwap, thank you for the 21 months. Oh, I also got a Ghost Move. How much is this going to do? It's actually... Did I crit? Oh, I did. Curse body's really bad for me here. Because now I have to switch. You need to wave your finger with the metronome animation? Okay, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting ready, okay? Or is it facing this way? It's facing, it's facing this way, right? No, that there, metronome. What the heck does that do? Is that's like cures poison? Oh! You were right! Die! Alright, big damage. So the thing here is I don't know if they're going to attack me or if they're going to switch back into Gengar. I'm going to measure them one more time because I think they might go back into Gengar here. Oh, Dust Noir, kill it, kill it, kill it, please! Please kill it! It's so low! Shh, Polter, or do something, I don't know, Poltergeist. Ah! I'm going to go watch paint dry? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, listen, I can't control it, it's not my fault. I have a choice bin mod, so I'm gonna champ. That actually makes sense. I hadn't thought about that. Using it as a way to stall. That's good. I almost gave a pickpocket. Three minutes left. Okay. It's eighth. Uh, I need to do more damage. Um. <laughs> Wait, but I think I have damage on this, and I do not. What, do I have damage on something else? Okay, I need some damage to win this. Two minutes left. Okay, Gengar has some damage on it. I think I might be winning. I need some damage this turn. Please don't blow up. Okay. It's like basically nothing. Okay, I was really lucky we didn't get cursed bodied. I'm gonna metronome again because I, I have Jacoba Berry still, so. Oh wait, but then we'd both lose HP. I think it's still a net neutral trade. Okay. So Jacoba Berry activates, they lose recovery, they take damage. I stole the Black Sludge, which is bad, obviously, but with the battle about to end, I think it's okay. Okay, come on, one. As long as I don't get take a ton of damage this turn, I should be okay. I should do too much. I took less damage with this than I would have if, um... Okay, so what's the status? I have a little bit of damage on my Grimmsnarl, a little bit of damage on Snarl, and a fair bit of damage on my Gengar. They have more HP. I think I win this. I'm the one, I'm the best! <laughs> and that is why there is skill in this, in this game mode. You have to take the timer every single game because you're never gonna kill anything. Oh, Machamp. Huh. I'm scary. This might be Choice Man Machamp. 
Alright, let's count PP. I'm not gonna PP stall from the start because I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. It's it's either it can be guts or it can also be no guard. That's two PP gone. Thank you, Broadway. I appreciate that. Wow, that's a, I never saw that. That's a great animation. I can also steal a lot of the Eevee Light, which might be worth my time. Yeah, Guts is not bad. It is not good here, sorry. Okay, Flash Cannon. Getting damage down is nice. It's not a lot of damage. Boing. So I could I have guaranteed steel here. Um if I want it. Guaranteed steel Eviolite. The clops got hops. Oh my god, the clops do kinda got hops though. That's actually okay in my opinion. Because now I can't be poisoned or burned, and if I save PP, that might actually be good. So I'm actually okay with that. Lala, thank you for the Ooh. Ah uh, hey, is future type psychic type in this game or is it a type? I'm, I'm totally okay with this. Um, is Future Sight ty typeless, or should I like should I go into my duck? Hang on. Anyone know? Oh, I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting paralyzed. <laughs> Are you serious? Ouch. Like, that's right. It'll make it easier to deal damage, I guess. Huh? Wait, is he gonna turn off my ability? Whoa! 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 Wait, that's sick! Wait, it's also pretty strong. Whoa. Okay. I think it's like if I've attacked first, it deletes my ability. But I didn't attack, so I still have pressure. Alright, I'm gonna try and attack. They've gotten a lot- a lot- when I was using Metronome last game, it was like- it was like, Force Palm, Swift, uh, Tackle. Etc. Etc. And now it's like core enforcer, um, rock slide, bounce, and okay. self destruct. If this thing gets sheer cold, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, that's fine. See, and this is why it's optimal to be uh, whatever I am, to be paralyzed. Oh, I got an attack off. Hopefully, it's not self destruct or memento or explosion. Okay, that doesn't really matter, but okay. Uh oh, I'm actually quite glad. Number one, I'm glad I don't have Gengar on the field. Number two, I'm glad I have Reflect up. Okay. I, I would love to- I haven't done any damage in this game. I think I've gotten one attacking move this game. Okay. Alright, Dust Noir, that was really bad. You gotta kill somebody now because- What the heck, guy? Why? <laughs> oh no! Okay, this is- this is high risk, high reward. How much PP do I have left? 11? Okay. I actually think it might have been optimal to- Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Holy cow. Okay, this is not gonna do that much, I think. Did nothing about healing from it. No, Dusknor! Dusknor, please. Please don't grief me. Okay, it's fine. It's not gonna do much damage. A physical move, Dusknor. A physical move. You're still taking damage like a, a griefer. Drain punch. Drain punch. Yes, if you use a physical move, they're dead, okay? We get it. How come they haven't rolled a single normal move? I can't recover back up. Oh, it's gonna die, it's gonna die, I'm gonna die. You're so low. I'm living. You have to get a move this turn, buddy. You actually have to get a move, no cap. <gasps> kill, 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 plus six minus one. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Timer, 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 timer. Timer, 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 timer. Perfect, all, all according to plan. Yeah, this wastes time, right? The Dynamax animation actually wastes a fair bit of time, so, and this way they can't like fissure or sheer cold me, and I don't have to use Metronome, so I don't risk using, um, I don't have to risk using <coughs> uh, self-destruct or explosion or, or memento or anything. <laughs> explosion, explosion. Oh, that could've actually been really bad. That actually could've killed me if I hadn't, if I hadn't guarded, if I'd hit them with like Shadow Ball or something, I could have died there. I don't think it's helpful. I think I should be switching.
Ooh. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's, a curse body's actually really good in this. That's why we have Gengar. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not gonna be that much, but even still, it's scary. It's also annoying because they hit me with Rock Smash and Focus Blast the turn that I switched out of groups, like out of my um immunity. All right, there we go. Three minutes left. If I don't, if I die here, I lose. But I sh probably shouldn't die. All right, that's kind of scary. Yeah, uh, that's kind of scary. <clears throat> 45 seconds on... I have a minute and 10 seconds left to stall. Um, which means... I'm probably not going to run out of time here, so I should definitely slow down the pace a bit. Two minutes left, okay. I'm just going to have to dodge one... I have to dodge, like, two or three more turns here. No! I lost. I, I lost. I can't believe it. They got plus one land draft. No! No! I was two seconds away! Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm shocked that killed. Oh no! I need them to blow up! I lost on timer after all that! At the la there was two turns left and now they're stalling me. They, they got me. Yeah. F. That sucks. That sucks so much! And they can't even blow up. I lose. There's no way to win this. I can't believe that. If that turn had been fine, I just needed to take one more. Thir yeah. If that turn had been fine, I... Alright, Belly Drum. One time. Belly Drum, close combat. Belly Drum, close combat. I can still win this. Okay, that's not... Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, so unlucky. Oko doesn't work. Alright, there's no move that will kill this. It has like 4,000 HP. Fissure doesn't work. Even if they were to click moves as fast as possible, I don't think I could kill them. And they have no incentive to click moves as fast as possible. They can just end the game right here. Okay. Alright, one more attack. I don't think I have time. Yeah, I don't have time. That sucks so much. I can't believe that. That sucks! That sucks so much! Ah, that's alright. That's the way I'm going to wait for kicker rolls. Oh! It's Prankster! Oh, it's Prankster. It's not Pickpocket. Got a lot of damage. Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb. What's this? It's a lot of damage! I crit? Yeah, that's fine. Clang gang, clang gang coming through. No crystal body, alright. Okay, useless. I'm switching. Uh oh. I mean, if I don't get honestly, it, it might be worth staying in, because a lot of the moves that I'm pulling are physical. Maybe it's- is it worth staying in, do y'all think? It's, I'm probably- since I have a lead, it's probably not worth it. That would have been good if it was effective. I'm gonna stay in, actually, because I'm not that scared of confusion. I think my Gengar is like max HP, max defense. Hopefully I don't have to do the dark move. Okay. Uh oh. Oh wait, but now they're, they're probably slower than me now, so now they actually attack second. That's actually pretty annoying. Okay. Thank you. Got hit twice out of three times, and I hit, got hit by fly. Okay, well. Wait, what? Wait, excuse me? Why didn't it fail? Wait, why didn't it fail? Anyone know? Why am I so confused? Self-destruct. Oh! Good dodge. Good dodge. Oh, it, it, it missed. Yeah, I know it can miss, but it said it failed. Which is different than a miss, as far as I knew, at least. Oh, wait, is it, did it fail because they're choiced? Ah! Oh, well then maybe I should switch then. 
Ah, uh, no, I don't want to steal Choice Band. But I, it might kill me if it's Choice. Try Choice Band. Choice Band Prankster. I feel like I'm playing with Fire here. Okay, I need. I would love to get just a little bit of damage in this so I can see if it's Leftovers or not. Snorlax again. I'm never leaving Gengar out in front of Lax again. Okay, Water type. Um, I'm still plus two attack. I feel like I should stay in here. Is that stupid? Also, it has no. It has more weaknesses and no resistances now. Oh, I get both? Self-destruct? Ah! I hate Snorlax! Also, I got swaggered like eight turns ago, and I haven't been able to get any physical moves at all. Like, zero. Nor Curse Body. Gengar. I physical move, please. Thunder Punch or something. I turned it- No! This doesn't work on Snorlax! Self-destruct. Okay. And I can't get Curse Body! Oh yeah, it's Leftovers. I definitely want Curse Snarl on this, but I, I don't want to switch up my Gengar just yet, because I'm still healing and I'm plus two, so you would think I could get some damage down at some point. I know it's Water-type. Physical move. Thunder Punch. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted. Maybe if I could get a physical attack. I still have like seven mention on the left. Uh, left. Uh oh! This thing has gotten like three signature moves, and they've all been high base power. Okay, okay, I have to switch. It's fine. Kill it, Gengar, please! Kill it, this is your chance. Oh! Plus two? Let's go. Okay. We got it, 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 we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. It's Jacoba Berry. If it hits me with a physical move, you'll see what it does. It's hit me with a weak physical move, like Lick. Okay, that's actually fine. It gets, gets fine, super fine. I can't even protect here, but that's fine. I'm gonna take its item as long as it hits. Isn't Rocky Helmet good here? It's more valuable to steal their leftovers and tap. Have... Oh, Bolt Strike. Uh, now I get Bolt Strike when they're in the air, really? And I and they missed. Are you serious? Oh, okay, Poison? It might be immune. It's probably immunity, right? Okay, well, they didn't poison. Uh, is that a physical move? It's fit. Is that a, is that a contact move? It's a lot. My special attack drops. Let's go, I got it. Okay, cool. We're lit. We're super lit. So, take, so this is what Jacoby does. There's a little bit of damage, but more importantly, Pickpocket now activates. Oh, throw shot. That's stab. That's some damage. Are you serious? Are you are you are you actually serious me right now? At least we already killed the Grimstar, because if Grimstar switched in here, I'd throw up. Okay, no sleepies. More like snore hacks. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Madge. I don't think I'm ever gonna kill this. I'm gonna start switching. Toxic, 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 if it's not immune indeed. Okay. Now damage is supposed to be permanent, but they just get they did just get wish. Oh, uh, I think that's thick fat. I think that's I'm pretty sure that's thick fat. Nice. No flinch. I hate Snorlax so much. I hate Snorlax so much. I hate it so much. Pace? Okay. Oh no, it's gonna it's gonna get like bolt strike or something. Seriously? Immediately? Oh, I, I have to kill it somehow, but I, I can't. I don't have any damage. Wait, struggle will kill me! Oh, poison it please! It's only like 10%, please poison! It's still plus six, it's still plus six. It's still plus six. 
It's simple six, so it's like not. It might the heal pulse might not matter. <laughs> All right, close combat. I made it fast. I made it fast. I made it fast. I made it faster. I made it faster than me. No, 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 no. Okay, it's fine. We don't care about that. Come on, Dustin Orc. Finish it off. Oh no! Here it comes. Oh, I wasn't so bad. Oh, okay, I wasn't so bad. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Activate, 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 activate. Curse body, curse body, curse body, curse body. Nice, nice. I don't want to jinx it, but I think there's a chance we can win this one without a timer. Okay, nice. Big damage. No timer win. Let's go. Hold you guys. There you go. This thing shouldn't be that bulky, I think. So basically, the main prep is in your team and how you understand the strategy, so... Oh, I get to figure out... Oh, wait, that's bad. I don't want that. Okay, it's weak armor. That lowers its defense, though. Oh! Raises the speed, right? That's not such a big deal. I don't really want to take an item here. That's a bug type attack. That's not a big deal. Oh, but now that it'll lower my defense, I'll go into. I guess I go Gengar here. Finish it off. What? Dustinor was like, never again. Holy cow, Night Slash and knockoff? Dustinor for MVP, I, I can't believe that. That's kind of wild. Uh, I guess I'll go Gen Jar. Yeah, this is a metronome only tournament, so you can't. I only am allowed to use moves that are metronome. All right, that's fine. Uh, I can't poison, but I can't get, well, I guess typically poison favors me more than them, but since I actually have a poison type, that's fine. I've only used super effective moves this game. Granted, it doesn't do that much damage, but it's still mental damage. Oh, I got three? I'm high rolling. I got three. Hey, this is leftovers will switch. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, but it's okay because I have Gengar. Let's see if it's leftovers. If it's leftovers, I'll switch. If it's not leftovers, I'll stay in. Okay, I'll stay in. Basically, like, I, do, I really hate Aqua Ring, so I need to get Curse Body to force it out. Wait, does that work? That works, right? I'm pretty sure that works. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they... they I think what the way it works is they can use it... I think they can still use it this turn, and the next turn if they try to attack, they'll struggle. Mega Punch! That's a real move? <laughs> Ooh, disarmament voice. Actually, quite a bit of damage. Oh, it's a crit. Um, this thing is Psychic and Ice-type. I don't think I want to stay in with Gengar. I think I'd rather switch to either. I'm gonna switch to Dustmar right here. We want to reduce the amount of- Huh, wait, wait, that's a dark move! Oh, for me. Okay, this Mr. Rhyme is actually is actually crap. This is gonna do some damage, because I'm physically bulky. I think I have to switch. I actually think I have to switch. How much time has it been? Okay, that's not very strong, but at least it's just damage. It's only been five minutes. I'm gonna have to beat them in this game the old-fashioned way. This thing's giving some pretty powerful moves, to be honest. Like, all of its moves have been, like, high base power. Oh, this is actually going really badly. I feel like it might be specs or something. Okay, I can do some... I think this can lower special defense. Well, we'll never find out, I guess. So the last one is Polyrath. Okay, this thing has only rolled strong special attacks. Everything has rolled has been above 70 base power. I can't stay in. I really don't want to stay in here. I can stay in one more turn. This sucks. Uh-oh, that's not good. I just got a special attack drop, and I'm stuck for two turns. Can you please roll a contact with a physical move, not a strong special move? 
That's not what I wanted. Oh no! This Mr. Rhyme has only rolled super strong attacks. I think it might be Specs, which now means if it hits me with either side, I'm probably dead. Wait, does that even work? It does, right? Unless it's I need to hope it's Specs, because otherwise this is just tenth. I think I I think I get swept. Grimzo, please kill it. Please kill it. It's not specs. Swords inch geomancy. It's not specs. Uh, I don't think I can win this. Oh, waggle your finger? Okay, everyone waggle your finger with me. Uh, I might survive. I might survive. Plus two, but it's Mr. Rhyme. Okay. Oh, I got damage. I got damage. It doesn't even have an item. It's no item. Please kill it! Watch a difference. Uh oh, any drinkers? Any milk drinkers in chat? That's okay. I think we're just gonna try one of this with to curse body in the end. Okay. Thanks very much, Nat. Appreciate that. Uh oh, evasion dropped. Oh, nice! Man, Polygon's tanky. I think Gengar's kinda weak, but... Okay, that's actually okay. Uh, we get a special attack drop, but we're really just trying to get them to attack me to uh, have chances at Curse Body. This raises my defense. I love this move. I, I thought it was so cool when I was a kid. I, I really love this move. How the turns have tabled! How the turns have tabled! Look at that! You know, I think it's pretty unlikely for two moves, the same move to be rolled twice in the same game. Oh, I got the attack off, though. Switch? How much does it switch? It didn't even let me- it didn't even let me switch. This thing has gotten both milk drink and soft boiled, so I can't actually kill it. I really need curse body to activate so I can get rid of it. I think this lowers the offenses. Attack and special attack. I think this is a Sobble move. Though the animation looks like Esper. Nice. Nice! That, that's, a, that's a chance to proc Curse Body. Breakfast Polyrath. Okay, no Curse Body. Charm, okay. Let's go Gengar. Gengar said you are not doing damage this fight. If you Dynamax, you turn into Max Guard, which we've done a couple times. This Polyrath! What is going on? Oh. There's no way it gets another healing move. We're fine. It's not gonna heal again. It's already gotten three. It's not gonna heal again. Uh oh! Oh, it's minus three attack. As long as it doesn't crit me, we're fine. Nice. Does that give me double chance? Is it curse body or is it the same? I assume it's the same. Do I have curse body or do I have levitate? Hello? Uh oh. Wait, now. Now it's got my ability. Oh, at least I turned off water absorb. That's super effective. Not enough damage. We're pretty close. Oh, okay. GG. This is probably a forfeiter. This is probably somebody who loads it and forfeits. That's my that's my prediction. Try to build the team, but I looked at the whole list to see if there's anything I would like that we missed. Okay, fairy type, fairy flying. Hopefully they just load it and forfeit because tournament hasn't been going on there for that long. For them to have lost every game is suspicious. Forfeit, 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 forfeit. I knew it. All right, we're from four and one. Tojikus is a bit scary, but I have type advantage. Okay, they switch. So it's token gifts plus two. It's token gifts lacks. Okay, nice. And plus one. 
And it's not leftovers. Mm. Yeah, I would have thought Clefable. I think on my team it's Life Orb Clefable. If I have Clefable, it's Life Orb. I forget what the other mods are because I never use them. Okay. It's two. Uh, I think that's Choice Band. Nope, it's Crit. Okay, yeah. Blacks is a real problem. It's actually really good. Because it's just like, even though it doesn't con contribute anything to the strategy, it's just very strong and very hard to remove. Okay. I don't think that helps me, or whatever. I actually don't like this at all. Okay. It's just not letting me... Okay, that's a lot. Is that a crit? It just does that much? Once again, this move is... I, I rolled Side Strike twice with Dust Noir, but it's not very powerful, unfortunately, because it's... I mean, it did some damage. It's not awful. Oh, a crit. Okay, that's why. Can you get some non-damaging moves, please? Oh, I should switch. I should switch. Okay, it's only gotten really powerful st ice, uh, special attacks. Okay, that wasn't so strong. Why did Sacred Fire do so much? Oh, Sacred Fire! Oh, I thought it was Mystical Fire! That's a dark move! Thankfully, it's not a very powerful dark move, but even still. No! Mulge. Well, maybe we'll see what the last mod is. Booty, okay. Well, Gengar, if it gets poison moves, is great. Uh, but is it gonna get poison moves? Who knows? Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb. That was almost pretty hype. Okay. That was almost really hype. My first outcome over the tournament. Ooh, that's pretty good. Never mind, that sucks. Attack drop? I mean, getting damage on is nice. Weak move, weak move, weak move, not strong move. Uh-oh. Uh, it's okay, I can actually use... Uh, does Roland make contact, does anyone know? Oh, 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 woo! Woo! That's my third Oblivion Wing of the tournament. <laughs> Gengar looks so funny up there. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, Evasion Drop, you're right. That's actually a pretty good combo. Actually, Garbage AG, thank you for the 18 months. Big damage. Okay. Any curse bodies? Alright, finish it off, Gengar. Use Gengar Blast. Okay, well, I'm not upset. But I'm not happy. <laughs> Would I rather just kill them? If I get a little bit more damage, I could finish this thing off with Grimmsnarl. Maybe I should just, um... I'm gonna max guard, it's doing too much. No, okay. Please finish it, Gengar. Please finish it. Okay, Evasion Drop isn't awful, but it's not good. Just finish it off, Gengar. Come on, it's so low. I'm gonna throw up. I'm actually gonna throw up. Are you kidding me? It got shore up. Oh my god. If this heals it. Oh, thank you, Gengar. Well. That's not good. The thing is, once it runs out of Metronome, it's gonna be really hard. It's not gonna come in again. Oh no! It got Shoram and Shell Smash. Now it's boosted. Self destruct. Explosion. Myth. Memento. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Freeze dry. Freeze dry. Freeze dry. Freeze dry. <laughs> well, uh, X Scissor. Meteor Beam. Well. It's fine if Dustnor sticks around for long enough, but it's not fine if Dustnor switches out. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going 10th. Oh, I did so much damage, but I can't finish it. Okay, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can still win this. Did I start a timer this game? I don't think I did. I didn't start a stopwatch, then I have no idea how long that's been going on. Oh, roll out for five turns. <gasps> no! Shell Smash Baton Pass? Are you serious? No matter who goes into, I'm doomed. It's Omega Doom. The only way out is that it gets some weak move. Some weak physical attack, and then I get, I get Cursed Body and it saves me, but I'm almost at a PP is the issue. Oh. Okay. 
It is minus one defense at least, but this isn't a very powerful move. Self destruct, self destruct, self destruct. No, I'm wasting moves that I wasn't gonna do anything anyway. This is Shadow Force, right? Not Phantom Force? It's good damage, but it's not enough. That's it. It's over. It's over. Unless it misses. This will definitely kill me. Probably. It's such a BG. And a crit me. I don't know if the crit, the crit probably didn't matter. But it is actually such a BG. Of course. Of course it gets plus two leech life. When I don't have any recovery. And it crits me. Okay. Very nice. What item do you have? Bolt Strike. Bolt Strike. Scope Lens. Oh, oh, okay. FF save mental? No, I can win this. Trust. Grimstar, you're actually goofing me. He could time me, but I, he's not playing to time. That's actually really good. That's actually really good, because Grimstar is slower than everything except for Lax. Alright, Grimstar, you have to kill this. Even Play Rough would be big here. Okay, this isn't strong, but it will do some damage at least. Thanks to the special defense drop. One more Grimstar, one more move like that. It all comes down to if I can, if I can, um, I have one innate chance to crit. You have to kill this thing basically, is, is what the situation. Okay, please crit. Oh, it did nothing. No, 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 I have Papa. Oh, sisters, okay, it's fine. That was the single worst move they could have rolled. I can't believe that! Dusnor, I need you to solo. I need you have 34 HP and you have a dream of you can, and Trickerm is still up. Rest, 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 rest. Oh, oh, I mean it doesn't cure the burn, but it you know. Our back is really against the wall. It's still- we still have to kill them before time runs out. Okay, okay. Please kill! Please! It's super effective! I know I'm burned, but please! I'm back to neutral, but I'm confused. Literally any move will kill it. Trick Room is up, though. I don't know, what's a move with the recoil that sucks? Like, even Woodhammer's fine. Oh! Oh! There's no way, there's no way I have 1v3 this, right? Heal bell, heal bell, heal bell! But no, you were too late! You needed it now! Oh, I mean, you're too early. Oh, Dust Noir, you were so close! You, you, you had the ready to deal with the wrong turn. Oh, imagine they switched and I hit it with Thunder on the switch. All right, Dust Noir. Listen, our back is really against the wall here, all right? Three minutes until the battle ends. Timer might be better here. Okay, okay. Come on. Uh-oh. Okay, come on. No, the tiebreaker rules. I die first. They're gonna die too. I die first. No! That's really bad, actually, because that's a uh, that's gonna do damage to me over time. Oh, I can't. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I can switch on ghost type. Oh, is this the one that always switches or always crits? Looks like always switches. Oh, crits. Second crit is bad. I wasn't using priority moves anyway. And if I if if both of us get a psychic move, it's more favorable for me. There's no fire spin for dragon moves. I think I just always thought Twister did that when I was a kid. Nice. I hate Polygraph. It always does this. That is the fourth healing move a Polygraph has used. Synthesis, synthesis, soft boiled, and uh, the other breakfast or later one. Milk drink. That's not helpful at all. I really want to snore out versus this thing. If they get a psychic move and they- if they got like psychic fangs or something, there's no way they get psychic fangs. Okay, that's fine. No, but there's like bottle of milk for cooking. Didn't I just? Did, am I crazy? Didn't I just say there's no way it gets psychic fangs? Didn't I just say that? There's no way it gets psychic fangs. 
<laughs> Call it. Thank you, it's Prime. Haha, Vita. Okay, damage is nice. Oh, that's a Dark Type move. I got two. I got back to back Dark Type moves. Just now, I really said foolish little brother. Self destruct. Self destruct. Self destruct. Self destruct. Oh, that's okay. Should be that strong. I think I'll switch out to this next one because I don't want Dustmare to run out of PP. <laughs> Good game. Good game. <laughs> wait, that's just an auto win. Oh, wait, it's not. Okay, there's actually counterplay. They can switch indefinitely. They they have to switch indefinitely. Dang, that's actually not an auto win. It's not an auto win. I need to trap them. Or, like, it's, it's not an auto win because I run out of PP before they do. Like, they're just gonna switch. I can't do any- this is- this actually is bad for me, isn't it? I mean, I get a bunch of free turns, so it's not awful. Oh, I found the leftovers. Okay, it's okay. I'll take the leftovers and the lax. They struggled! I get the item now. That's awesome. Oh, and they trapped the man! Please hit! <laughs> okay, so first they get trapped in the vortex. That was like the best move I could get. Holy cow. Whole solve. Thank you for three months. Um, it does a bit of damage. They eat the Jacoba Berry. I eat the Jacoba Berry. They take some damage, they take more damage, and then Pickpocket steals their leftovers. And their and their Snorlax can't switch out because it's stuck in Whirlpool. <laughs> that is my fourth Oblivion Wing! Why would they not switch? I don't know. I guess they figured that Mighty Snorlax would do damage. Yeah, Imprisoned is on the user. It's a move that targets the user. So if you... Um, yeah, if you get Imprisoned... It's... Imprisoned is active until my Grimmsnarl leaves the field. I'll just use this to get free damage. Like, I'll just mention it with Ghost Snarl until... Oh, they're staying in. Okay, that's fine with me. Like, they can switch and make me run out of PP. That's, like, how you're supposed to play this. But, uh, they can do this, too. <laughs> I'm getting, like, perfect moves. GG. Wow. I did mental damage to my opponent. Genjar, and I have Genjar. Okay. There's Noir. Okay, let's see what item this thing has. So it's Genjar. Just Noir. That's very good. That is extraordinarily good. Gengar comes back in. Take a little recovery here. I mean, I have to find it at some point. I'm just going to do it now. So they go for Metronome. That's first. Or, let's see how many PP they lose for this. Amnesia. Okay, that's one. It's not good, though, for me. That being said, my special moves, like, my special attack stat is so bad that I'm probably only doing physical damage anyway. That's actually not bad. Um, unless I get Cursed Body. And even then, that's not so bad. Charge beam, okay, that's not great. It's gonna get back that special attack I just were lowered. Oh, he didn't get the special attack boost, nice. I gave it a special attack boost! That is not good. Oh, but it's now minus two special defense. Hold up, hold up. It's minus two special defense, but plus one special attack. Five. Okay, that's great. Seven. Ooh. Okay, I didn't do anything. My special uh, my special attack is just so low. It's fine. They can't stay in with the Sclops. Uh, Dusnora is the thing. Um, because if they stay in with Dusnora and they hit me with a contact move, they'll lose their item. somehow in the same game from metronome are you kidding me you think i can get three anybody think i can get three press three if you think i can get three. 
Oh, it does so much damage! Well, like, here comes Dustnor again, but the thing is, yeah, oh, it does Clops this time, huh. Um, I wonder what I'm supposed to do against this. I think I can try and beat this with Gengar. Oh, burn, 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 burn! I think I should probably stop that shit, I mean. Wait, isn't that a dark type move? Nice. I didn't do zero damage, and if they get, uh... If they get curse bodied, oh my god. They have, now their options are switch or to struggle, and if they switch, then spikes will damage them more later. This is brutal. This is 12. That's, uh, that should be 13, I think. I believe that's 13. Because Trick Room targets the whole board, so Magic Room should as well. And if it targets the whole board, then... Wait, Magic Room's only that turns off items, so it does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they didn't get Black Slash Recovery. Like, I'm not gonna be able to take their item anymore because Jacoba Berry's not gonna activate, so Pickpocket won't activate, but it's still good to have this thing in. Okay, that's not a big deal. Also, I'm dark type, so I'm resisting ghost stab and I'm super cranky when I get a dark move. Okay. That lowers my attack, right? Or is it my defense? I think it's my attack. That's fine. Not bad, not good. Oh, it's stab! Actually, it's not bad. Right? I mean, that's good damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that is so funny. Nice! Good attack. Big burn. Got first body, nice. Okay. That was the last move, so now they're out of PP. Oh, that raises my speed. It also lowers my defense. Oh. Oh, it does work on each individual hit. Okay. Oh, I'm into stall. Okay, I just right. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, you can have both- this this opponent had both Dustnor and Dusclops, if you if you notice. I knocked out the Dusclops and the Dustnor's on the field. The champ. Okay, and it's shiny. That makes me very nervous. I don't know anything about the champ, I assume it's Choice Band. It's probably really strong, realistically. Uh, I think I want to deal with this with Dustnor, but the issue with- I can't really justify dealing with it with Dustnor as the issue. I'm going to stay in, because I don't know if they have Grimstone in the back. It's Scarf, or it's just fast. Okay, Quiver Dance isn't... It's not a broken move, but it's not good for me, because it's, gonna make, it's making it bulkier. Gengar, you want to hit a Sheer Cold for me, buddy? Okay. Not, not bad. This Machamp makes me very nervous. It's the first time I've had to play against one. If I get burned, that's pretty bad. It's plus one stalled. Okay, no burn. That's really nice. Okay, Flintthrower is... I mean, it gets damage, right? You can't be upset about that. It's just damage. Well, now we have a question of, is it Guts or is it No Guard? Because if it's No Guard, that was awesome. And if it's Guts, we are in enormous trouble. Okay, that means that they're not doing what I thought they would do. They're, they're using different Pokemon than I expected. That means they don't have Grimmsnarl or they don't have Gengar. Um, I think I just pee stall this, to be honest. Oh, hold on, wait, this does damage. All right, I'm staying in. Because this is chip damage. 
Oh wait, what am I saying? I can't, I can't, um, I can't trap it. I'll keep metronoming though, because the chip damage is nice and this thing doesn't have any recovery. My Gengar's just like a fire type monster right now. Yeah, that's a lot of chip. I think you're likely to switch out, so I'm just gonna metronome one more time. Gengar? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Flame Garish Magma Storm Spirit Shackle? Okay. It can switch out, it's a ghost type chat. Nice dodge, any dodgers? It's staying in, if I get another damaging move, it's just dead. A dark move? It hit, it hit this thing for... Magma Storm into super effective move into super effective move? Okay, well, hope it doesn't get sheer cold. I'm bulky. Contact move, contact move, contact move, contact move, contact move, tackle, contact move, double kick, contact move, grass not. I'm getting so lucky. I'm actually getting so lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> they have burned Machamp. They have like 1 HP Dust Clops. And I got Iron Defense right before they blew up. Oh my god. I'm getting so lucky. GG. <laughs> Luck is a skill, baby. That, listen, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, but that's the world champ difference. I can't believe how many people are actually using good teams. I thought this was going to be all like baby in-game teams. But the, it turns out, the, I thought the only people playing this were going to be super casuals. But it turns out the only people playing it are sweats like me. A champ? Okay. Scary stuff. I think I'm supposed to stay in here, because this is a scary mon. I think last time I tried to use Gengar to beat this thing. But this is probably the scariest mon they have, so I think I want to remove its PP as fast as possible. That's not good. Please don't burn me. I have a feeling that thing is Choice Bang, because that did a lot of damage. Oh, wait, that's super effective. Okay, alright, alright, not bad, not bad. One more of those. Okay, that's four PP gone. Okay, I think I want to switch now, to be honest. Because I don't really want to be minus one defense in my Dustnor. I think if this thing hits me a strong guard type, I'm probably dead. Are you serious? Do I, I should love this. Well, I wasn't wrong. Um, I think Gengar is just out of commission for the rest of this game. I'm not in such good shape, but I'm in at least in good shape. Okay. I roll wish. <laughs> Machamp is going to mention a Pokemon because it just hits really hard. This is probably choice by Machamp. Ooh. Alright, Justinora, you were kind of clutched this out. All right, any any shadow bones in chat? Any strong physical attacks in chat? Oh, that's a physical attack. Heck yeah, that's some damage. It's good damage. Okay, that's strong. That's not good. Wait, is it? Wait, is this the one that always does set damage? Yeah, it looks like it did about fifty. A little under fifty. I think that does set damage. Okay. This is, might be Life or Magic Art as well. I just need another move of Ice Fang's power, basically. It's a physical. Taking six of its PP. Petal Blizzard. That's physical, right? Isn't this physical? Yep. Alright, cool. I love how the music changes when the last Pokemon comes in. I think it's so hype. Oh, big damage, big damage, big damage. That did way more than I expected. I thought it was going to do literally one. Nice, super good. Mm -bop. And that's gonna be good. Nice, super good. Okay, no recovery now. Ooh, hello. That's six. That's four PP. Which crazy that I'm not even. I don't know if I'm gonna be top. I'm, I might. I'm probably gonna be top hundred, but I'm not gonna be that high up. Like, there's people are taking this really seriously. Which is really bad for me. Okay, that's six PP. I'm switching instead of attacking because I'm gonna beat them with struggle PP anyway. And I don't wanna accidentally blow myself up with uh, Memento or something like that. Cause like, think about what happens if I roll Explosion here. I might lose, right? Okay, GG. Like if I roll Explosion and they roll Sheer Cold, then I lose, right? Most of the time. 
Actually, this kind of tournament requires you not to get Sultan, so I just have to focus. Okay, Gengar versus Gengar. Um, I think I'm just supposed to stay in on this. Because what I don't want to have happen is... I can go into Dust Noir, but I don't want my leftover stolen. So I just stay in. Yep, that's perfect. That's what we wanted. They might have... I've seen a lot of people doing Gengar, Dust Noir, Dust Clops, which might mean they don't have... Toxic, Toxic, Toxic Spikes. To uh, no, not Toxic Spikes. Just steal move. Doesn't do anything. But it does reveal... Actually, no, it is useful because it reveals that they have leftovers. They do? Great. Okay, Grove Star's coming in. I can't attack here until I know if they have Grimstone in the back or not, so I have to switch. They rolled the same move twice in a row! Oh, that's... that's... Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Uh, that's actually pretty good. It's damage. Not a lot of damage, but it's damage. Better they're just nor the mine. Better they're just nor the mine. See, this is why this is why we don't tilt. The game consents if you're tilted, okay? And then it, and then it, it tries. It does what it can to make you angry. So if you don't tilt like me, good things happen. Oh wait, why didn't I do that? I don't want to okay. Cool. This is such a cool animation. Oh my god, that's such a cool animation. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? It's a special move. It's a special move. It's a special move. It's like 100 base power. I have no idea what it is. It didn't burn? It's called Searing Shot. What is it? Okay. First match from the lax. Huh. Well, it can't switch anymore. And it also has recovery. It's a pretty strong move. Alright. I'm done with the strategy. Fail the double, it doesn't matter. Target me, target me, target me, target me. Oh, that's really bad, that's really bad, that's really bad. Please target me, please target me, please target me, please target me. Okay. It's not good, it's not awful though. This is also be a really bad time for them to get to get an attack boost of any kind. This is their last metronome. And it is... Turns off items. That's not good. Wait, I need my item. He doesn't even have an item. That's so bad. Alright, that went really badly. I should have two minutes left as of right now. Yep. Which means I have three... Wait, 130. I have two moves left. So I just have to do this one more time this game. <gasps> Alright, that sucked. Channel? Did I turn on did I turn on auto ad? Is that a thing? Content? Stream manager? Lax? Oh, I'm, I'm about like a I'm like a minute late. It's fine. Full HP eruption? That's not good. I took a lot of damage from that. I need them to hit me with like a really weak, like a Shadow Claw or something. I've never heard of this life move in my life. I have no idea what move this is. <gasps> oh! It's good! <gasps> I don't like the Snorlax, I don't like the Snorlax, I don't like the Snorlax! Okay. Spooky, spooky. I don't- I don't want the target to bear a grudge for the record. This is this destiny gotta be one thing. Attack and defense switched? 
Alrighty, that's not good. You know what? Uh, instead of taking this thing's item, I'm actually just gonna go back into my dust nor because I do not want to die here. This thing is popping off. It's rolled eruption, fissure, power trick, which switches the attack and event stat. I'm cracked. I'm actually cracked. I dodged. Any dodgers? I'm a dodger. Okay. Not Rocky Helmet, ideally. Ah, eighth. Tenth. So much damage. It's okay. It just sucks. I might pre max a little early here, preemptively. I hate this mod! It's only rolled good moves. It's crazy. And of course, every time I run to a Rocky Helmet one, I activate it by hitting it twice. Like, like I hit a gear grind, I hit it with fly dual wing beat. Um, okay, let's think about this. I'm gonna max here, I think, because I'm calming down. So it's used nine of its PP, which means it has seven left. And if it, any of those target doesn't work, it takes two. So it could have as few as four left. And then once it does that, it can only struggle, which is nice. And then if it stays in, it's taking struggle damage. And if it switches out, then I don't have to worry about it. I just stay in here, but realistically, probably not. Because they're pretty high ranked. Yeah. Alright, 13 on Lax. Who else do you have? Clef. Clefable makes me very nervous. I think I'm going to try and beat this with Genjar. Okay, burns my berry. Which is okay. She does a fair bit of damage. This thing makes me nervous because it's very powerful, but there's nothing to do about it except attack it, right? I haven't used like any metronomes this game, so I have to I have to do damage at some point. Okay, I trapped it, but it's probably magic guard, so this probably doesn't really do anything. Oh, it does something like a curse body though. Curse body, 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 curse body. Oh! <laughs> curse body, curse body, curse body, curse body, curse body. Give him the worst turn ever. No. <laughs> Hello. Unfortunate, it's gonna do zero. Big damage. Uh oh. That's a hundred base power. It's a lot of damage. Curse body? Dog. Curse body's griefing me. Okay, that's good. The Clefable's already used seven. This is eight. This is nine. Does a fair bit of damage. Does a fair bit of damage. I'm getting kind of low. Can you get some big damage here? Any, any poison moves? Okay. It's not very strong. I keep getting special attacks with my physical mons and physical attacks with my special mons because I can't do any damage. This is the Pokemon we care about, unfortunately. This is the Pokemon we have to beat somehow. I need Dust in order to solo this somehow. It's like all there is to it. Okay, that's not bad. They're just going to keep switching, which gives me more options just to heal up. It was at 11. <gasps> Clip that. Oh my god. That's the world champ difference, baby. Oh my god. That That is... Whew, that's something. I would forfeit if, I, if that happened to me. Okay. Sleepy time. That's a strong move, and also the second time we rolled it. Oh, I woke up? I don't know if that's good, actually. Yes! Okay, it's five. Okay, it's five. Skinger goes to go on fast as heck. All right, Dust Noir, Sheer Cold. We got Fissure, let's get Sheer Cold. Any Sheer Cold Dust Noirs in chat? Are there any Sheer Cold Dust Noirs in chat? Oh, okay, that's good. It's not super strong. Oh, actually, it's pretty decent. Whoa! Okay. That shouldn't do too much, although it's a really, it's physical, yeah, it's physical, it's fine. Oh, because I hardened. You're never get through my iron wall of defense, Dust Noir guy. Oh, I got one of those too. You think you're the only one who's a Polish rock? 
This battle had three moves getting found twice. Yeah, wait, that's crazy. There are two fissures in this game. Uh oh. Uh, makes me a little nervous. My health is getting a little bit low. Okay. The same move got called three times in this battle. Um. Huh? We should be pretty getting pretty close to the three minute mark, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nice. Okay, three minutes left, which means I have, what, three attacks left, basically? Three turns left after this? So I should decide how I make sure my Pokemon don't die. I don't need to count PP anymore, they're not going to run out. This is number 10 or 11 here, depending on who they target. That is BM. That is so, that's the rudest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. All right, self-destruct memento, self-destruct memento, self-destruct memento. Oh, right, there's Rocky Hamlet, I forgot. Kinesis, does that make me float? Or does it do damage, more damage if it's through the same type? Are those my accuracy? No, I had no idea. <laughs> Freeze, 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 freeze. Self-destruct, self-destruct, explosion. If we can go rock polish three times, we can call explosion twice. Oh, oh. Crits? I think, th if I've counted correctly, they don't know, they're using struggle this turn, by the way. Oh, I'm floating. Nice. Alright, GG. <laughs> this whole game was just wild. Triple rock polish. And, and, and was the wait, did rock polish get called back to back or just three times like in the same couple turns? Okay, oh, they're sending out this guy. Clumps. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just PB stall this. Self destruct, memento, self destruct, memento. Bzz. No damage, nice. Chris Body, nice. Free attack. Max Gar, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> if this weren't a ghost type, that'd be so good. But uh, I'm pretty sure that they're, yeah, going for struggle. Huh? I mean, I'm not complaining. That's great damage to get down. Maybe they just like click too quickly. I mean, that's forty percent of one of their mods. That's a huge. That's more. That, e both Jawlock and Struggle did more damage this turn than any of my Pokemon did last. Like, they're, they're, I did my my whole team did last game. Okay, Poltegeist. Who do I want to beat this with? Dustnor? Ooh, that's good. Is it weak armor? Oh, it's probably Curse Body. That's the, that's the right set. Okay. Okay, it's weak armor. That's fine. That's super fine. I might even get Curse Body here. It's a crit. Is it Life Orb? Why did I do that much? Okay, nice. All right, a physical dark move. Give me another jaw lock, jaw lock, jaw lock, jaw lock, crunch. <laughs> uh, it's actually not that good if they realize like what they're supposed to do, which is just switch infinitely. But I mean, it's free damage for a little bit. Okay, lax, nice. Like they got double curse body and imprison. Stealth rock. Okay, not great. That's actually really bad, because we want them to struggle with this day in, right? Please don't attract! Please don't attract! Please don't attract! Wow. Big damage. Gengar, you actually griefed us so hard. You actually griefed us so hard. Trick? Oh, nice. Okay, it's about a quarter. Please don't get immobilized. This is so frustrating because they're they're griefing themselves. All they have to do is switch and they'd be fine, but they're griefing and I can't capitalize because I rolled a track, had the wrong gender on my Genjar, and then 
Ugh, I'm wasting PP. I could win this whole game with just this Gengar if it wasn't for the fact that he keeps griefing me. Block, 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 block. Oh, that would have been pretty crazy. There we go. Okay, that's one of them. At least now, like, if they stop, um, if they get immobilized, I at least have the chance to recover some HP. At least I got some damage down. Okay, this thing is probably just gonna switch out again, right? Got some damage on it, Gengar? Shadow Ball? It's not helpful. That's really not helpful. Gengar's griefing me. I don't want it to be asleep. I want it to be using Struggle. I need this thing to wake up in one turn. Shadow Ball? Hex? Alright, that's damage at least. Mm -hmm. Ah, special defense? Oh, it's Clops. They're wasting my PP. That makes sense. I have four left now. Shadow Ball? Shadow Punch? Okay, that's some damage. It's not, not a ton of damage, but it's a little bit. I guess they're just trying to trade struggles. Okay. Okay, this thing nearly being gone is great. Okay, well, unless I target, self 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 target. No, okay. Well, being up a mon is good. Is it bad that I want to stay in? I'm going to stay in. Chair would probably tell me not to, but I'm going to do it. Because it does damage. Look at that. I'm doing damage. This thing is frail. This is tricky. Yeah, I mean, I guess the first... I hope they attack here just so that I can learn if, if we're right about whether or not they struggle. Because I, I honestly have no idea. I think Grimstar is pretty good here, though. You did a good job, Gengar. You did a really good job. You took him on. That's all we can ask. Although you kind of grouped us a little bit. Oh, you're right! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> okay, I definitely didn't think it worked like that. That's so good. Look, look at all this recoil. First, Jacoba Berry. Okay. Then, recoil. Okay, it's okay, though, because they're going to heal back up, right? Nope. Mine. And now I heal back up. GG. Okay. Whew. Took one that didn't take a full of time. Oh, geez. Okay. That's good, because that means that they can't have all three of my mons, you know? That also, I think, of the mons they're likely to leave, I think Grimmsnarl's the most likely that to have been left behind. Any electric moves? Okay, okay, that's super good! That's super good, super good, because if they get Curse Body now, they're in actually Omega Danger. Okay, that's good. Oh, it is Stab. Okay, I'm dropping frames again, sorry. Should be back. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't, I can't do anything about it. Like, I it really bothers me, but this is my provider. I'm going to move at some point, but probably not for a while. Thunder? Nice. All right. Bounce getting a paralysis is okay. Bounce getting a curse body is... Oh, it's choice. Okay. Any disables? Any Gengar, Gengar disable? Thunderbolt? Water shirt. This is weak as heck. Nice! Very nice, Gengar. Wow, good job, Gengar! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Wait, does this disable my ability? Hold up, does this disable my ability? What? Oh, okay, I'm going eighth. That's so bad. Um, I can't stay in anymore. Bounce fail because this is a choice item. You can't use bounce after using metronome. Oh my god, I can't believe they turned off Curse Body. If I win, this is going to be a miracle from this spot. This is really bad. Okay. Contact move. Alright, back in this, baby. Unless I die. I'm alive. Does my Jacoba Berry fail now? What happens? I guess it didn't pop. Okay. Somebody in chat said it's gonna explode. Wait, hold on. Somebody in chat called it. What the heck? Wait, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, that's, uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gift subs. <laughs> Why is it always Dust Noir that explodes? I've had three Pokemon explode and they've all been Dust Noirs. Mine, one of mine and two of theirs. All right, let's see. This is eight. 
Nine. Okay. That's not gonna help you. Oh, they got one more. It makes sense. I mean, you get damage on both the physical and special sides. Wow. <laughs> nice defense boost. Behold, my super strong. Oh. They have one PP left. They're thinking about what they want to do with it. Okay, they're, that's out. That's out of the PP now. Okay, doesn't affect me. Alright, Token is no longer has any uh, moves he can use. Okay. Would have been a good time to roll block. I probably want to switch here. Oh, GG. Alright, nice. Two games that went faster than like, I had a schedule. Poly uh, Polytone? Okay, we'll poly out front. Alright, this makes me very nervous, but there's nothing to do about it except to try and win. To see if we can figure out what they're doing here. Rain being up is dangerous because it just benefits them a lot more than it benefits me. It's probably Poly Ludi plus one. I just don't know what the last one is. Not that it really matters too much because I can't really do anything about it anyway. But water moves coming out here would be really bad. Okay, that's metronome number one. Oh, start the timer. I'm a little late, but whatever. Okay. That's a physical move, so it shouldn't do that much. Okay. Still scary, and I have flashbacks to that Snorlax. Pop. This will tell us if it's, um... Leftovers. Oh, I was gonna say, I did way more than it should have. Okay, it doesn't have leftovers. It might be Citrus Berry. Bye-bye. 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 Bingus420, Bing, Bing 420, thank you for the tier one. Bye-bye. Uh, Changed the world. My final message. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Give it to me. Yes. Big damage, but at a cost. Here's my berry. And I'll be taking that. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to leave, leave my Dustnor on the field and run them out of PP. I think that's the proper play, actually, now that I think about it. Hey, no! Gengar, that's... You. That's not good. Gengar, you're leaving the field right away. Do not get killed here. The odds of Gengar fainting here are basically zero. There's only a couple moves in the entire game that could... If this crits... Okay, that didn't go very well. Gengar, you lose privileges. You're off the field. You're off. You're, you're back on the bed. Wait, what does this do? Wait, isn't that strong? It's strong. Go, Dusnor! Use hold back! Dusnor! If I get poisoned here, I'm going eighth. It's only 10%. Okay, I need I need to sort of stick around for a little longer. Stop hitting this thing with fighting moves. <laughs> Nine, nice. There's seven PP left. Four. Oh, ghost type. That's actually not good. Is it? Well, it's good for me offensively, but it's very bad defensively. Because now they have stab ghost moves. Like if they roll shadow ball here. Oh, chat, you know, there's no guarantee they were PP maxed. If they're not PP maxed, then there's a chance that their token is... Because it hit 11. So there's a chance it's out of PP. Like, I assumed it was... I'm assuming everyone's PP maxed, but it's not guaranteed. I feel like anyone serious enough to enter this tournament is probably serious enough to realize that you need to PP max your mons for this. Nice, big damage. Any burns? This thing is so physically bulky. I feel like I've hit it 20 times and none of it did anything. That's 12... That's so good. That's so good. Kind of. I'm gonna max now. Because they can't retreat and they only have two mons left. I'm gonna get my bread. I'll be right back. What happened? What did it do? Solar Blade? Oh no! That's, wait, that's not taking... Wait. How many PP does that count as? Wait, does that count as one or two? Oh, this bread smells really good. It's you wanna see it? It looks really good. It's some kind of I think Hispanic bread. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know where it's from, but it's apparently it smells delicious. 
It's very cinnamony. Uh oh. I need a plate. That's gonna be a mess. Contra, yeah. <laughs> Is it not easy yet? It's so funny. My roommate's out there. He's watching the stream, so I left, told him exactly what I just said on stream, and then heard it from the from his computer. So I was like, I need a plate. And then I went out there and I heard me on the stream say, I need a plate. <laughs> and then he was like, ah! And then I went and got my plate, and then I came back, and then I heard his awe, and that's what we were laughing. Anyway. This really good. I need to switch. This is not optimal. Because what if I get, um, Hill and Wisher self-destruct? If you're long-time viewers of the channel, yeah, he's been on the, on the channel a couple times in the past, but not for a while. Oh, any sunny dayers in chat? I forgot that the trapping effect was not on my Dustnar, it was on the Totem Ghost. That's my roommate. Oh, spikes! That's why I wasn't switching. My bad. Alright, that's my bad. So how much time do I have left? I have five minutes, and there's only five minutes left in the battle. Alright, I'm just gonna PP stall. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Because that's chip damage. Well, I can't switch anymore. The bad news is that that's a fair amount of damage, but the good news is that it's an extra bit of animation at the end of every turn, so it's gonna add up a little bit. Because we are about 10 seconds away, I think, from the three minute mark. Because the way that it works is if you don't choose a move, it always takes the first move on your Pokemon and suddenly a one move, and that's Metronome. As you can see, it selects it even without me doing anything, so I get the most time out of it. It's not bad. I saw Grimstall's Rick Cage for a second. Okay, nice. This is guaranteed over. I have guaranteed game. Because um I have a because I have a Pokemon advantage here, let's say they KO Grimstarl. If I take 45 seconds now and then they KO me, then I can take 45 seconds to send on my last Pokemon, and then I can take 45 seconds there, and that's two minutes over two minutes, and there's less than two minutes left. Oh, I want a tournament without touching my controller. This is a tournament you could you could do it. Hey, Tony's parent? I don't have a son. Do I look like I have a son? Oh, do you mean Tony Stark? Tony needs nuts? No! Where did I put my controller? Wait, where did I put it? Oh. I lost it. Alright. We might be top 20 with this. Oh, uh, that's just not isn't it? Okay, I think they might have timed out. Okay, I started my timer correctly. Alright, uh, they timed out that I'm going for external. Oh, they didn't time out? Okay, my bad. Oh wait, this I don't know if this thing has leftovers or not. Okay, metronome. Oh! It works! <laughs> it actually works! <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, they take the ship damage here and they lose their item. Hopefully it's not Leopard Berry, because that'd be lame. That's a very good start. It's a super good start. I have leftovers now. Okay, that's fine. Nice, now I can attack for free. Yeah, so most things, a lot of, like, things that change your type, if you switch out, it resets it. Miss, 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 no! Oh, unlucky. Lumberry? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Wait. It should still have been affected by pressure before it attacked, though, right? Drain punch? Spike? Leafish? Okay. This is damage, at least. Okay. I don't know what that's. I think that's a special move. That's eight. Nine. Super good. I still don't know if it's Rocky Helmet or not, though. Just kind of annoying. I called the same move twice in a row again? Okay, that's 10. 11. Oh! I really need to not take damage here. Okay, that's a little bit of damage. Okay, 
14. Self destruct. 15. This next one's the last one. Okay, there's still one PV left in it. There's the Skengar. Dust Noir. Okay, any damage I can get to stick on this is really good. Any damage at all would be nice. I would take it in a heartbeat. Super good. Super happy with that. Great attack. It's not going to do like a ton of damage or anything, but... I mean, we got their Dust Noir to the same HP as me, but lower. So, that's like a good situation. No, 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 poison, no, poison, no, poison, no, poison, no, poison, no, poison, no, poison. This is so much. Okay. This is so much damage. That's not awful, but it's not good. It's more damage. I mean, I guess it's more to them than it is to me, but I'm getting low. I'm getting really low. Turn off our items. That's so bad. My items are so much better than their items at this point. It's Night Slash, Night Slash. Foul play, foul play. Crunch, crunch, lash out, lash out. Dear Griefer. Wasting PP. Oh my god. I'm losing. I'm literally losing. Uh, I shouldn't have stayed in here. I shouldn't have stayed in here. I shouldn't have stayed in here. I'm being greedy. Roost? Any recover? Any any foul play? Stop getting normal moves. If I die this turn, I'm actually going to lose. I'll live that, but... Oh man. I have to... The thing is, like... I have to... Okay. I don't know how I win this anymore. We're only halfway through the battle. They switched. <laughs> Gengar, you need to be there, Gengar. I don't know how you do it. I don't care how you do it, but you need to keep me there, Gengar, somehow. That's something. The only way I win this is if my Gengar beats their Gengar. Shadow Ball. Hex. Thunderbolt. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. Because it's using Gengar's special attack stat, which is pretty high. And it's super effective on its on the current Pokemon, and if they go into Lax... We are speed time. Okay, no so Gengar. I'm going eighth. I can't win. Don't curse body. You are such a griefer. Oh my god, you are such a griefer. <sighs> I don't know why this one is so frustrating. I just can't get anything to stick. And the lax of all mons. It, I don't have any damage on this. I bet I get a ghost move just to add insult to injury. Okay, blaze kick is not very strong. That's a strong move, but it's not enough. Oh, they have to switch. They have to switch now. This is an opportunity to hit one of the mods in the back for more damage. Gengar, you need to hit them for big damage here. That's all I have to say. But any more damage is good. Please get a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, that's actually pretty good. But I'm still losing is the issue. I mean, all damage is good damage at this point. It's probably going to time, but... Gengar, you need to do big damage to their Gengar. That's all there is. Like, that's literally the only option. Four and a half minutes left. And they still have max available. Okay. All right. Okay. I thought that it was like self-destruct where it would go off anyway. That's so bad. I need damage. I haven't hit this Gengar for any damage the entire game, despite attacking into it like 20 times. Five left. I mean, we have four minutes left in the battle. This is all I got, right? Switch. They switch? Why did they switch? Gengar, please some damage. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Any, any neutral special move. Any neutral special move that does, like, a higher than 10 base PR. Honestly, any damage. Any damage. Any damage. Any damage. You are a griefer! They're giving me a chance. Gengar, please kill it. Please kill it. Gengar. Why are you like this? Why can't you do any damage? No! They change the plan, I'm switching. Three minutes the battle end. They heal so much from this. I have to just heal up as well, but I think I think this literally changes the whole game. Although wait, I get more healing than they do. Well, 
Nothing else for it. They were winning. They were winning. Huh? Wait, they actually were winning. I don't know why they forfeited. Dodge kiss. Oh, okay. All right, Genjar, you need to you need to kill this thing ASAP. Gengar, if you get any damage on this, that'd be pretty lit, to be honest, because we don't know what items on this. Maybe we can scout for leftovers. Okay, well, let's find out if it's Rocky Helmet, I guess. It's probably a berry. I'm gonna go into Grim. A contact move? That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Um, okay. So I have a couple options here. Number one, I can try and take the item. Number two, I can try and PP stall with Dusk Noir. Number three, I can try and disable it. I'm gonna go into my Dusk Noir, I think. Gengar is risky because it can die. I think it's like basically Gengar plus Curse Body means we have to take damage. Oh, it's plus one special attack. That's not good. Oh, it's not so bad actually. That's really good. That's a great. That was a great time for Charm. Let's go. Let's go to Snore. That's six, seven. It's great. As long as I don't roll any self KO moves, this is gonna go well. I think. Relaxo is German. I mean, that's not bad. Probably not gonna matter too much, but does it hurt? Honestly, lowering their attack and raising my defense is good because of struggle. Now I'll take less damage from struggle. That's not good. That's not good. If I get burned here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for rolling eruption and taking fire snow. It's awesome. Love that for you, buddy. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's not great, but it is okay. It's fine. Basically, what this is going to mean is I'm going to have to use. Gengar and Dustnoir and Grimmsnarl to... Okay, that's 10. I wish I, I wish that was me, dude. I wish I could roll recover. Or rest. Oh, rest would be so good. Then I'd really be relaxed. Okay, that's not great. I could max here. That's good. Uh, it's not great, but it is good. At least I didn't mind reader sure cold me or something. Leffaberry, if it's Leffaberry Lax, then I'm throwing up. Double no retreat, alright. Well, there's something. I can steal his item once he struggles, yeah. Alright, this is number... This is their Lax is number 14. Okay, well, this is Oaxus number 14. Um, I think it's likely that... I'm not really in that much danger. I'll go Gengar. I could also go Grimmsnarl here, but I think I'll just go Gengar. <laughs> All those boosts. For what? This thing is rolled Recover, Soft Boiled, and Recover. How? You think it has Choice Ban? Oh, that would be interesting. No, it didn't do enough damage to be holding choice band, I think. I think it was Citrus Berry. Correct. Okay. I think that's fine. Because the thing is that even if I if I end up eating my Citrus Berry, then I could steal leftovers later, you know? That was a uh, big... That's a lot of damage. Okay. That kind of sucked. I'm worried about this Togekiss. Oh, that's not good. It's not even a kill, right? Oh, it's an extra black sludge recovery, so why not? I like that neither of us can do anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> neither of us likes to try to move this turn. That's kind of funny. All right, Gengar, nice job. Okay, it's, it's Prankster. It's Prankster. My Grim Snow walls it. Okay, fails. It should dance, yeah. Okay, Burning Jealousy is actually some decent damage. Does it have leftovers? No. Okay, cool. 1 minute 45. Uh-oh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. That's a strong move. That's a really strong move. At that crit, I was dead. Okay, I have a minute and a half left. Let's go into Dustnor. All right, Dustnor, if you die here, we lose. So it's up to you. This is the last turn of the battle if this works. All right, Dustnor, just don't get hit with something crazy. Don't get hit with, like, sheer cold or fissure. This is spec, so I have to be really careful. Okay. <sighs> what a drag. Gengar lead. I've lost to both alchemies I played, which is frustrating, because it's a garbage Pokemon in this format, but it's still won against me. Where is that last power dog? Last game, I mean. Alright, Dustin a strong physical move. Strong physical move, buddy. Bad timing for Chris Body, but it's okay. Grim Snarl. Ooh, if this thing has pickpocket, this is not a situation where the where them landing pickpocket is good for them. Grim. Contact move. Not a contact move, but super effective, so we'll take it. It's a lot of damage. Half health. That's very bad. Yeah, Grim Snarl, can you can you can you can you finish this for us? Any Grim Snarl finishers? Grim Snarl, finish it off. Uh oh, is that the one that locks me in? I think that did just enough that another one's not gonna kill. Unless they contact move me. Nice. Connect, 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 connect. Nice, super good. Barry. Barry clutch. Steal this. Alright, I win. Probably. Nine. No, seven. Sorry. No, not nine. Seven. Eight. Okay. That's fine, I think. A fair bit of damage, though. Nice. No! I forgot about Grimstarl! Oh, not a con. It doesn't work. Please roll a useless move, buddy. Please roll a useless move. I messed up really badly. I messed up really badly. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, did, he, did, they, did they heal me? Thank you. Okay. No biggie. If they get disabled here, they're just doomed. Okay, they're doomed. <laughs> It's going to be very difficult. Because if Gengar rolls a contact move here, then the, the Grimstarl is dead. Uh, I guess Garrett, technically it's not guaranteed. I need to do at least like 30%, 20% maybe to kill it with him. Black Sludge. Okay, that doesn't count. If I can go 9-0, I can win this tournament, maybe. Potentially, it's possible. It, it, like, I think it's likely unless... It's likely if the other person stays asleep. <laughs> I thought this was an American. That sucks. All right, Gengar versus Gengar. Madge. Okay, they stayed in. Gengar, do like 40%. Trust, do 40%. That's not going to be doing much damage. At all. That's good enough. That's 30%. I'm happy with that. Okay, cycles badge. Well, you got rest. Just way too late. Not good. All right, I'm going to snore. I'm gonna have to PV stall this thing instead. Three, four. Okay. I think if you have Sunny Day and Aqua Ring, you should lose HP. <laughs> this is a mechanic I just invented. Six. Ten left. Wait, doesn't that kill it? Gengar is a griefer. I knew. I knew. I knew. I been knew. I've, I've known for a while, I could have told you, getting gender is a griefer. PP, HP, and status. But if it hits me with a contact move, it's going to need some help. That's not a contact move, which is actually okay.
I'm totally okay here with getting paralyzed. Okay. This looks mad fun. Watch for a little longer. Go, Rose Nellie's Focus Blast! You can always win the Metronome because they can always, like, we, we didn't kill them because we killed them. We killed them because they, they used Lunar Dance, right? So, the same thing could happen to me, right? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not, that, that's not good. I need to switch out. Oh, and Water type at least. Oh, uh, that's not good. 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 Okay. So, uh, I'm Water type Grimmsnarl and there's Psychic type Dust Noir. Okay. Well, I don't know what to make of that. I'll be completely honest with you, but I know the situation's not good. I'm Water type and they are Psychic type. Okay. Contact move me. Come on, it's most likely. What is that? Three, four, huh. That's not good. Get me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! It's just, it's just dust nor. I'm trying to steal the leftovers, but it keeps not attacking me in the way I want. Ghost dark, ghost dark, ghost dark, ghost dark. At least it has the same weaknesses except more, right? Super mega dark blast, yeah. Okay, well, it could have been worse. This thing could sweep me. Hold on. What the heck is going on? I, I should have switched to dust nor and not gotten trapped. Contact move that's weak. Sure, why not? Wait, does, does this mean Lunar Dance is not even going to do anything this game because they're switching into something they can't activate? Oh, safeguard. I wonder if I'm supposed to attack here. Because I, I think it's worth it, because if I get a single contact move, I'd win, right? Maybe I should be switching, I don't know. Is it likely I die? Curse body, 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 Speed. Curse body. Okay. Contact move. Connect. Wait, that's bad. It's half good, half bad. Because... Okay. Ah! Hey, they had the right item. Because now they're confused. I'm stopping the timer and resetting it. This game is over. Oh, safeguard! It safeguarded it. It's way past it. That's so funny. Lunar Dance into Final Gambit into, <laughs> into, into Dust Miller getting in first turn. Uh, curse bodied into. <laughs> I have a bunch of Black Sludge. <laughs> Alright. Was my opponent high ranked? I can't remember. Alright, hopefully we get some points with this. Hopefully we get more than. Alright, well, we won via KOs, which is very rare. It was an extremely unlucky game for them. Oh, that's not good. Some damage. Oh my god! Oh no! That's not good. That's really bad. Oh no, it's gonna take so long to recover from that. Okay. What is my defense? Take a curse body? Any curse bodies in chat? No? Okay. Getting water moves. Why is it doing so much damage? Toxic? Burn, 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 I want to steal his leftovers ideally, but I don't think it's happening. I'm gonna stay in here again. Because I want more leftovers recovery, and I think they don't want to let me. I don't think they want to mention them in front of me. Like I can just go to Grim Snarl. Okay, they're so risky. <sighs> Seriously, a dark move? Ugh. A dark physical move? Oh no! I don't know if I can win this, guys. This is looking really bad. This is looking really, really bad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I have to take a KO. I have to get more damage down. I have to start attacking, I think. It's four minutes, almost four and a half minutes in. If they stay in here and I steal their item, that's a huge swing, but I don't think there's any way. Both times they got me, that's so annoying. All right, I'm gonna have to get aggressive here. I, I just have to attack with my Grim Snarl. I have to take this thing as recovery. That's my only option. Okay, it's getting our six metronome. Let's see what it gets. Okay. I get two attacks on this thing now. Ideally, a dark move would be nice. Okay, that's game over. Unless I kill him on. 
This thing has gotten only moves that do like 30% or more. Gosh darn it, that's one of the worst moves I can get. It's a crit, nice. Okay, it's actually okay. It actually does damage. The issue is that it's a bad it's a bad time to get it. What item is lax? Lucky me! Lucky me! This is how I lose. Hold on, wait. That was... I... Grimsnarl? You take one of these. Really? Yeah, okay, I gotta switch now. Okay, I crit me. Okay, that's another crit. I have to take a KO. I mean, Lax isn't at full HP, but I have, like, I don't see how I ever win this. Miss? Yeah, no, why would you miss? That's dumb, that's stupid of me. Stupid idea. Hey, just able to roll out. Nice, lucky me. Okay, you have to kill somebody here. I've been, you've been so bad this whole game. You, you have to, either, you have to, you have to take a KO. It's our, it's legitimately our only. Oh, they, ha oh, they had to stay in. I see. I see. Okay. I wish they, if they struggled there, this is. Not, well, even with struggle, it's not that winnable. Gengar has to kill their Gengar, which has never happened. The only times Gengar has killed Gengar is when the other Gengar exploded. Also, they still have Dustmore, right? Which is still healthy. I don't even think Gengar can. Gengar can't do anything here. I lose for sure. I need to roll like Shadow Balls, which isn't happening, or Toxic. Thanks for the sub, Corsa Drive. Okay, it's actually a strong move, though the Para doesn't help me too much. It helps me if I get Hex. Gengar, you need to roll a couple more moves like that. You need to roll, roll Hex. Oh, they're staying in. Gengar, Hex! Kill it, Hex! Okay, I mean, that's damage. It's doing damage. Can't complain too much about it. So like, that's adding up, okay, pair it. I don't know if that's even good for me if they pair it, but whatever. They're staying in, ghost move, ghost move, shadow ball. What does this do, what does this do, what does this do? Is this a kill move, Kami? What is this? It does damage? What is that? Oh, it's the poison move. Oh, I couldn't take their PP. Gengar, please kill them, please kill them, please. This is your chance. That doesn't count, that's worse than, that's worse. Why did I ever think you could do anything good? This is only 100 base power, it doesn't even kill. You were the worst Pokemon I've ever had the misfortune of dealing with in my entire life. That's how we lose the tournament. We lose the tournament off of that. Because Gengar blew up. Gengar thought it was funny to blow up. I hate this Gengar. This Gengar is the worst Pokemon I've ever used in my entire life. Into the side roughneck. The only way to win this is to take two KOs. So, Lax is low enough that it's possible. But, I have to kill Gengar now. And I don't have unlimited PP to do it with. And I ba does basically Dustnor needs to somehow take two KOs, which is basically impossible. Since my Grimstone is all effectively dead as well. Kill it! Please, Dustnor, please finish, get one. If you get one, we're in this. Oh, that's a move. Don't miss. No, 95 accuracy? Okay. Okay. I need to kill one more Mon now. Somehow. Wait, I don't think their Gengar has infinite PP, though. Eight. Miss, 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 miss. Okay. Shouldn't do that much damage. Please kill it. Please kill it. It's not very strong. If I get Cursed Body, I'm M8. Okay, no Cursed Body at least. Don't snore, do that. Copycat, 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 copycat. Griefer. Okay, that's 12 or 14. Don't snore, you need to do damage this turn. Please, any physical move. Oh no, what about Curse Body? I lose. I actually lose. This is it. I have to attack with Bone Snarl, which is the worst case scenario. Wait, I can win with healing moves, actually. If Grim Snarl is a healing move, I might win. If Grim Snarl is rest, I can win. So I have one chance at this. There's no more outs except for Grim Snarl will rest. Because there's only two minutes left in the battle. I think I have two chances at this. 
Two, there's two minutes left. Um, there's too much stall. I can't do it. 20 seconds, one minute 20. Metronome. Please, Grim Snow. I just one move that saves me here. It's not it. Okay, this game. I have one turn left. It just, it just half damage, though, is the issue. Like, if I had another two minutes, I could maybe win this because of the struggle recoil. Unless they're all out of time. Do they have, if they have less than 15 seconds left, they have 45. They have 28, I mean. And that's game, folks. That's how I lost. That's how I got knocked out of the tournament. That's game. GG, GG, well played. Thank you, thank you, my Gengar, for griefing. Really frustrating to lose. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really couldn't do much there. In the end, I finished 50th in the tournament, a respectable finish despite being below my goal. I had wanted to win the tournament to prove that luck was a skill, and although I wasn't skilled enough to do it, somebody else was. The player who won the tournament went 28 wins to only 4 losses, an absolutely monstrous feat. They even won 14 consecutive games in the format, which is almost unbelievable. To me, this proves my point that even in a format specifically designed to be luck-based, a great player can still be consistent. I'd be curious how different the tournament would have gone if it was doubles. With more Pokemon attacking each turn, I think it would have been much harder to stall, though I can't say for sure. If there is another tournament in this format in the future, I will enter and attempt to redeem myself after falling short this time. If you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to see more content and fun formats like this, let me know in the comment section. Have a great day, and don't forget to stay hydrated.